Hello students, now we will continue with lesson number 25. In that we will see bar graph. So what is meant by bar graph? In a bar graph the numerical data is represented by rectangles of equal length, of equal width with equal space between them. These rectangles are called as bars. So what in a bar graph the numerical data okay as you can see over here the numbers so these numbers will be shown in the form in the form of rectangles as we saw in pictographs they were represented in the form of pictures here we will represent it with the help of the rectangle uh, the rectangles which are also called as bars which will have equal width and equal space between the two of them now these bars are of various heights and drawn by selecting a particular scale. Now we have to select a particular scale to draw this. Let us see one example. The table given below shows the number of students in various standards of primary section of a school. Now standard is given that is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th and number of students are given 65, 50, 45, 35 and 25. We have to draw a bar graph by taking a suitable scale. Now, let us see the solution. The scale we will choose will be 1 cm and it will represent 5 students. So, I will show you here. Now, the distance from 0 to 5 will be equal to 5 students. Okay, 0 to 5. So, this one this space that is equals to 1 centimeter therefore 1 centimeter will be representing 5 students so 0 to 5 how many students 4 students and fifth year number 5 will be 5th students 5 to 10 5 and again so on till 20 till 75 let us see next step so Draw two lines OX and OY perpendicular to each other as shown in the figure. Now we have to draw two lines that is OX and OY. Now they are perpendicular to each other as they are forming a rectangle over here. Next what we will do is we will call the horizontal line as OX. This one the horizontal line is OX or x axis we will call i have written over the it's written over here x okay this is called as x axis or you can call it as horizontal line ox whereas this one the straight line will be oy vertical line or y axis as written over here y axis now the height of these bars are uh, how they have uh, they are made we will see now you can see over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bars are there. Now you have to draw the 5 bars of equal width. Width is what? This. The, that is the distance between the two points of the bar. Okay. That should be of equal distance. Suppose if it is 1 cm. So you take this also 1 cm. This also 1 cm. 1 cm and 1 cm. Now. The heights of these bars we will, are changing as we can see over here. Now how it is changing? It's changing depending on the number of students. So here on the x-axis we have taken the standard and y-axis we have taken number of students. So number of students in standard first is 65. So you can see over here the bar is reaching till 65. Now next one is second standard. 50 students are present in second standard. So 50 the bar is reaching till 50. Next 45. Next is 35. And last one is 25. Now you can shade these bars with fine pencil or you can just make slanting lines in them.